Ho, ho, ho! Merry January! That's how that goes, right? Yeah, I, I didn't forget about you guys. This just didn't arrive until today, with you know, everything slowing the world down through December. So, you know, here it is. We're hopefully going to get two this month. So, let's waste no further time and open it up and see what we have. And our theme is... Oh, it's eager to meet me. Kanto New Year! Makes sense, given that it is currently the New Year. We'll go with that. <laughs> up you over there. And this card as well. And we are met with this adorable giraffe. Look at that. 10 out of 10, best box in the world. This is... Lucky... Lucky Mayo Curry. Okay. Oh, and it feels like mochi, I guess, or crisps. So if I'm reading that one right, that is going to be mayonnaise, curry, potato snacks, crisps, something along those lines. I don't know that I would put mayonnaise on my curry, but I'm certainly not going to say no to this adorable giraffe. Look at that. All right. Let's see what else we have. This is going to be a good pick. Uh, we had some gummies. Are these the same kind? They certainly feel like the same kind. We had some berry and apple gummies in the last couple of boxes, and they were fantastic. Side note, I shared those apple gummies with my cousin and her four-year-old. They did not last very long. They were just the best. Not quite up there with the Ramune candy. Which I'm still raving on about because how great it was. But a close second, definitely. Next, taking up the entire frame, is some kind of potato chips. That's what that says. And does it have a flavor listed? Probably up here, but I can't read that one because that's kanji and terrifying. But there we go. Thank you, Magic Crayon, for telling me what that is. Oh, and I know what this is. This is mochi, which regular viewers will know we usually get a, a couple of bags of that. That's not mochi at all, Andy. That is that that is genmaicha tea. Good job with your hand-eye coordination, man. It's, it's almost like you're holding a, a camera. <laughs> slash phone. This is mochi. Let's try that again. <laughs> this is mochi. And... I have never guessed the correct flavor of these, so I'm just going to come out left field cheese. That's what that is. All of my sweet flavor guesses are wrong, so I'm not even going to do that. It's a savory flavor. That is cheese mochi. Prove me one way or the other magical crayon. There we go. That's, that's what that is. Next up, we have... Um, the concept of Scar, look at that. And a big wall of text that I cannot quickly read, so I'm going to pass on that. And these look like... Licorice, actually? Which is... Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever had licorice from Japan. I wonder if that's popular there, if it exists over there. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. What do you think, guest host blooper? I'm not putting you there to show off that I got you for Christmas. Nope. That's, that's not what that is. Let's go back to the box. Uh, I'm going to go for this guy next. Which, yep, we have two of those. And it's something I cannot read because it's nice big ink brush text. That one down there it says Osenbei, but that doesn't necessarily tell me what this is. So there we go. It feels like it's in, it feels like it's in a plastic tray. So if I go for it too hard, I'll break it. So let's just go with Magic Crayon's caption and and leave it at that. This is something that I do know. I see that one. I'm gonna go for that. You know what? Pop you down there. This is. Some mochi. 
which again it's, it's something that you very often find in boxu and this one's peach flavor because it, it says down there peachy mochi which is a little bizarre to me because peach is not the Japanese word for that it's Momo I wonder why they do that with some things and not others hmm no, I actually do wonder that I don't have a, a, a punchline or follow-up to that I I don't know I'm gonna go for these guys these look okay yeah they feel like pop you down there they feel like wafers um, it says roll cookies on the packet, so I think I'm right. But it's the sort of thing we have a lot of at work, and you tend to see them around Christmas, at least in England. So it'll be interesting to see a Japanese take on that, if that is indeed what that is. All right, back to the box. We have a nice picture of a bridge and a shrine. Look at that, and it's recyclable. This is I read this bit first so I want you to know that it's a butter sandwich and then that's it says down there just to jump in and steal my thunder that is going to be one of those individually packed biscuits and it feels a little bit like a giant custard cream it might be a little less sweet than that because if it's butter, then that's what that is. But yeah, no, usually these are really, really good with a cup of tea. Which could just be my English side coming through. But hey, I like tea and biscuits. Who knew? I'm going to pull out these guys and put them over here. Because I don't know if they are related to them. But they look a little bit like the... Oh, what were they? The, the the mushroom snacks that we had a couple of months ago. Probably not. They look, I'm going to guess sesame seeds because they've got what look to be sesame seeds in them. But, yes. Someone asked how those mushroom gummies were. They were actually very nice, very earthy. And they had a very nice aftertaste as well. They stuck around for quite a while. They only got one or two, but you only needed one or two, you know? Okay, what is next? Uh, a bunch of stuff that's face down, which is great, because now it's a surprise when I open it up. That we have. Oh, this is amazing. Look at how fed up these cookies are. Like, really, Andy? You just, you just pointing your phone on your couch again? Okay. These are chocolate. somethings. They feel like individual cookies again, which I'm, I'm guessing is what these guys are. These are the cookies that are. Just so happy to be there. Look at that. I'd make you my mascot if I could. Okay. This one is next. And this that one has surprising weight to it. <laughs> that one is a black sandwich something butter. I'm guessing that's going to be another cookie bar. But this one looks to be like dipped or coated in chocolate. Which, which is what this is. It looks a little bit like... I guess the equivalent would be like a, a penguin in English. Which is good, because I like the animal penguins. We'll go with that. <laughs> Alright, only a couple things left. We have... Something gold. Oh, it says it there as well. Gold on the side of the packet there. I think that's going to be another individual biscuits but if it's got gold chocolate in it I'm down for that like gold bar or a caramac love them that's the English equivalent I can't imagine they're gonna be in Japan in Japan excuse me and oh there we go last one for this box is a, a word in French that I'm never able to pronounce me meal few Enjoy that. Enjoy me not being able to say words. <laughs> but that looks to be like a, a strawberry sandwich cookie slash it's a dried cake slice. Not entirely sure on that one. But again, it, it will be fun to try it. And I kind of eager to try all of this stuff, which is usually how it goes with Boxy, especially at the start of the new year, since I am 
supposed to be being good with snacks, but then aren't we all? Anyway, let's pan out, show you what we have, show you what I have. Hello, blooper. I am going to put this box here, just around in the middle, because nothing is jumping out as something that I absolutely have to try, with the possible exception of these strawberry gummies, because they are amazing if they're the same kind as the others. But there's also nothing that I don't want, if you see what I mean. So this one is... Yeah, B minus, C plus. Is that the same grade? I'm gonna say yes, so why can't you bump me up, all my uh, high school English teachers? I'm not better. Anyway, until next time, goodbye. Okay, we recording? Yes, we are. Good. All right. Man, I've got a new blanket. I got banana bread in the oven. I am a 600-year-old grandma. Okay. <clears throat>